Hey, what is up folks, and welcome back to another episode of 7 Days to Die. Now, off camera, I did a lot of off camera work, and I'm actually in a little bit of predicament right now because I am thirsty. I am very, very thirsty. Haha, <laughs> that's what she said. Um, because I am, I'm out of water. Now, that has also been completely fixed because we have this now. Yeah, we got ourselves two cooking pots so we can cook up this water and get our thirst back to normal. Get back, get back to, uh, bleh, can't speak today. I'm actually sick today. Uh, if you guys, I can't remember which video I showed it in, but I was a little under the weather. I think it was the Skyrim video. Uh, that's really shown today. Uh, I was supposed to have a snow day today. Didn't. Oh, hi. Hello. You are, you are gone. Uh, yeah, and I'm trying to get as much of this yucca fruit as I can because that's actually edible. Very, very, very edible. Ooh, glue. Hmm. So I want to get rid of. I can get rid of the. Uh, let's get the scrap doorknobs. Let's take the glue. I think we'll be good. All right. Yeah, I want as much of this yucca plant as I can. So anyway, guys, how have you guys been? Uh. I haven't actually noticed the support on your guys' these episodes yet because I haven't uploaded them yet. The first video for the channel actually goes out today, which is pretty cool. I'm actually excited to see uh, how y'all re react and everything, and it's gonna be it's gonna be real nice. All right, let's get some more of this. Yeah, like I said, I'm just cleaning house with these things. I'm getting as much as I can, and I haven't played with the uh, aloe vera yet to make. Uh, Oh, I, I do sound stuffed up now that I'm now that I'm speaking and stuff. Oh, look at all this. This is a lot here. Yeah, you can kind of see my health is not coming back because I am thirsty. Ooh. Okay, I thought that was on fire for a second, but I think that's just. I wonder why that looks like that. It looks like there's almost something on fire. I don't think there's anything on fire. Oh, see, I need to stop doing that. Ugh. Yeah, see, it's like coming from over there. I don't know what that is. Oh, yeah, I built this little fort last time, but I've also run into a different kind of issue. Uh, did I fill those water bottles up? Yes, I did. Uh, let's put. I think. Boop. I think we don't only need one in there. Uh, why did I? Did I pick something up? Oh, it was the the brass. Wait. Where's that? I hear an airdrop. I heard one, but I didn't see it. That one's moving really fast towards something. I'm undetected though, so we should be okay. All right, yeah, I'm gonna get this water going. Give me that little tiny cooking pot, please. All right, let's get in here. Let's drop some wood in there, and let's get the water. Actually, let's just do... Yeah, bottled water. Okay. Yeah, 85. Oh, ho, ho. Cook. Cook that stuff. That's great. Let me pick that up. Put that in here. Because uh, we do make another... Am I... Am I detected? I think I'm detected. Oh, I hate being sick like this. All right, let's put some of this stuff in here. Uh, but our land has a little bit of a flaw to it, and that is that we uh, we burn up real easily. And my temperature is really bad. Hi, you gonna come this way? Come here. Oh. Uh, I think the cactus killed you. I think I'm hitting you right. I think I am. I'm just not hitting you in the head. And stop it. Stop coming closer. Sit. Stay. Like I know I'm hitting you. Okay, we're good. All right. So, yeah, I did a lot of. Re I went to a house that's over. Which direction? 
Did I go? I think that direction. And there's a lot of greenery over there. You can check the map here, actually. Oh, there's another zombie over there. Uh, there's our bed. I went this direction, and there's a house right here that's actually flooded in the basement. And we came all the way over here from the snowy area. I think we spawned right about there. And that's really nice. But we need to get out of this deserty like area because... Ooh, look at all that water. The, um... The deserty area really makes our temperature go up a lot, and that is a problem. Ah, let's refresh ourselves. This is so nice. There we go. Awesome. Cool. Alright, now what else do we need to do here? Do we need to make... We can also boil eggs now, I think. Something we can... Something we can do. Uh, so I'm going to put a lot of this stuff in here. I'm going to put a lot of this in there. This, 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 this. This, this. I got some springs from a car because we do have this, uh, where is it? This wrench here. And that really helps uh, get a lot of materials from stuff. Now where? Rotting flesh. We have some glass jars there that we didn't fill up. Some cotton. Alright, we're looking good. I grabbed some wood and some stones and stuff. But I think in this episode, I would like to move out and find a little bit more of an official place to settle down for this series and start doing a lot of building and stuff and a lot of uh, putting stuff together. Because this area doesn't work. It's just too hot. My temperature gets up real high. I get too hot in this place. So we're going to pack everything up, I think, and move it. So I don't even know why I put stuff in the chest. This is going to be really interesting. Because I have a lot of stuff here that's useful. And I'm only going to be able to take a little bit of it. <laughs> uh, so we're going to have to narrow down what we really, like, need. And apparently yucca plant, yucca fruit only stacks to 50. Which kind of sucks. But I guess it's what it is. So let's take, let's try to prioritize while this is all cooking. And see what we can take here. We can take the eggs. Uh, we can take the feathers. Which apparently only stack. I can probably make a lot more arrows too, which I'll probably do. I don't really need the old cache. I can actually scrap that. Uh, I don't think old cache has any sort of use. Uh, let's do there. Let's eat some of this food. Like this chicken soup. Yeah, I have enough food apparently to heal. But yeah, I'm going to just eat a bit of this food. We'll eat the spam. Yeah, we'll just eat this because of the hydration. We'll just we have so much water that hydration doesn't matter anymore. <laughs> Alright, we are just about full on the food. Now where's our berries? Let's just eat some of these. Boop. Eat. Let's get us to full hunger. Full hunger. Take some water. Drink. Alright, we are full in both ends there. See we're 97 degrees. We need to get that down a lot. Alright, so I'm gonna take I'm not gonna take the paper. I'm gonna take some of the large beef rations, because I think that's a good amount of food. Let's take the coal, the blood bags, the glue, the yucca plant. These bandages, these first aid bandages are so useful. But I'm not even sure if I can take them. Like we got stuff here that's useful too. Like the iron we need to take. Glass jar we don't need. Uh fiber gloves. We can probably just scrap a lot of this armor until we need it because that's uh take some of the tokens duct tape is kind of useful uh let's see raw iron is pretty useful springs are very useful now we can always come back here and, and get this stuff if we really need to but uh, i want to take Ooh, off camera i got a few things as well but turns out right behind our complex right behind this area here we had a fire axe an iron fire axe as well as uh where what was it for was it in here mechanical parts mechanical parts very useful not very common so that's great glad that we got some of those all right some raw meat the short iron pipe is useful Ooh, large beef ration lamb rations yeah let's actually craft some arrows here because when we're traveling that's going to be very useful what does this do? Arrow slits are another medieval classic that make it much easier for you to shoot outside than it is for others to shoot inside. I don't really know what that means, honestly. 
Yeah, we'll just craft as many arrows as we can. And let's see, is there anything else we can take? I know I want to take the mechanical parts. Oh, I know I want to take the iron. The bedroll we don't totally need. I can just take this amount of yucca plants. We'll just leave the rest here. The gas cans? Eh. I need the leather, I think. I need the leather to make a forge. Unless, is that just animal hide? Because the forge is kind of the next on our making list. Alright, so we have small stones. We can get clay pretty easily. We haven't actually gotten clay yet. Oh, wow, that sound of the arrows crafting. Uh, short iron pipes, we have one. We have like 27. Yeah, we have 27 short iron pipes. So it's a bellows that we don't have. And how do we craft those? Yeah, it takes oh, 20 animal hide, 8 wood, and a short iron pipe. So we're going to need more iron, short iron pipes than... How many bellows do we need, though? Just one. Okay, so we're gonna. It costs overly, like, right about. Alright, also, is this done yet? Oh, water only stacks to 50. Oh, dang. Huh. That's gonna also be an issue. I don't know if the antibiotics are that useful to us. What do they do? Hmm. It removes the infection. I don't think I have the infection, so I think we'll be fine. Wood frames. I have that. Hmm. Let's see. I can scrap this. I don't need the snowberry. I wonder if I can cook up. Yeah, this is going to take another few minutes. Hmm. I'm going to pack everything up, and then I think we're going to get ready to move out here in a second so I will be back with you guys in just a moment alright guys so it is now officially daytime I let the nighttime pass it is day four and uh, during night I actually looted this building and I got some pretty good stuff look at all of these wrenches look at all these wrenches there was like ten in there I'm kidding that was exaggeration there was like three or four I actually got every single one that I saw and it's come to the point where I really can't carry as much as I can. This is everything I ch I'm choosing to take with me. Uh, got a lot of the base resources here and stuff. So we can start building wherever we choose. And we're probably going to pick some sort of house uh, for the night. And then live, keep our stuff there. And then live where, um, where we're building nearby. So... Uh, and as you guys can see, I, I do have some heat stroke, which is why we are getting out of here. Like, the heat stroke really affects you a lot more than I thought it did. It, like, slows you down. It, it makes you go through your water really fast. I do have all this water cooked. I think my eggs are done now, too. Uh, yeah, all 26 of my eggs are done. And I'm really worried... Okay, so it does not... Alright, and I'm also going to turn that off take the wood. I can't take all the wood though. So let's see. We'll just we'll just throw a glass jar on the bottom. Alright. So I think we are ready to go here. I made a bunch of new arrows. I made some uh, some eggs. Whole bunch of stuff. And it's all it's all fine and fine and dandy. But I think we're gonna head east here. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't even know where we are on the map. I mean I think I think the map is the map is infinite, I think. I didn't even know that, really. Like, I didn't know the map was infinite, but apparently it is. Which is kind of, a uh, kind of interesting, because, uh, that means we can get pretty lost in this game. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna demonstrate the wrench here real quick. So what happens is when you break something down with the wrench, watch. Bam! I got a bunch of iron, short metal pipes, a whole bunch of stuff. Now all this on the ground is uh, is gas cans. Also, we will come back there. We, we will come back here and probably get a re the rest of that stuff at a certain point. But right now, everything that's over there isn't exactly useful to us. So we're just gonna... We just gonna forget it. So, yeah. Oh yeah, we want to go this way. This way, I want to go this way. Because there's greenery that way and we haven't been there yet. I've been there a little bit. But uh, I want to get out of this deserty kind of biome as fast as I can because heat heat exhaustion is killing me like look at that 117 I'm 117 degrees right now like that is 
Whew. Let's see if I get in the water if it helps. Oh, it really helps. Look at this. Oh, but you go so slow. Oh, wait. Oh, maybe that's just... Maybe that's just my stamina. Alright, I'm gonna get out... Go this way and go head out of the water, because this is really slow. Oh, we can go a little bit faster when we sprint in the water. But that still destroys our stamina. So yeah, the point of this episode is we're going to try to find an official place to settle down and build our base for day uh, for day 7. Because day 7 is not that far away. We're already on day 4, and at day 3, that's when things get pretty nasty. So, I'm going to move forward here a little bit, and if I find something, I'll cut back on... Ooh, it's raining. That's actually probably pretty good. Okay, guys, so it looks like I found a pretty good place to sort of settle down in for the time being. Uh, it's not that late in the day, and as you can see, from here you can actually uh, see the, the building we were just at, the area, our, our place where we've been staying right there right there in the little uh, right there across the water I can't really can't really show you like zoom in or anything but there it is and uh, I found this little log cabin looks pretty decently secure I'm pretty sure it's no you know not that not amazingly secure or anything like that but it's it's something that'll get us by for a little bit of time and it's actually kind of nice in here kind of cozy it's got a loft too which is good um, I probably shouldn't loot anything yet because we have not uh, so I haven't put down any chests. Right, nothing in there. I'm gonna get rid of you. You're kind of creeping me out. Got a fireplace. It all looks good. All right. Let's see what's up. Actually, oh, I dropped something. There we go. Give me that back. Oh, a cooler too. Look at that. Some can of pears. I think that was. Oh, you have a. Looks like there's some sort of panic room here too. It's locked. Can't get in. Huh. In the wood. Yeah, I think this all looks pretty nice. Pretty nice. Hey, uh, I'm getting Steam messages. Where? I think this will be good. I think this will be good. We'll probably build right on top of this hill over here. Look at me. Yeah, probably right over here on top of this hill. I'm trying to see what's over that direction. Is there something over this direction? Oh, whoa, what was that? All right, here, let's take care of you and get bam, and then and then bam. Oh, I missed. Did I miss you? And bam. You're not dead. I kill you now. Nothing. Oh, I see you on the ground. You guys are hard to kill because you guys bob your head back and forth. There we go. Oh, I guess before I go, uh, pretty soon here, uh, before we start building and everything. Oh, it looks like the looks like the trees just continue. It looks like there was like a weird biome over here, or is there a weird biome? I see the smoke in the air. Is there desert over here? Oh, it's, uh, it's wasteland. Hmm. I don't know about that. I don't like building near that wasteland. I never trust it. We may keep moving a little bit, but before I go anywhere, I actually want to show you guys the leveling up system. You can see here I have 20 points available. I think I've already leveled some stuff up. Uh, I never for I always forget what I go for first. The camel is a, is a good one, but it's not really good for, you know, the area that we're in. I normally go for. There's health nut, but it requires you have higher athletics. Health nut's really nice. Sav, archery, the fixer, quicker crafting. I think this one might be a good one to buy, and then I'm gonna spend the rest on athletics just because it's so cheap oh I see you right there hey hey how you doing BAM get shot nothing just sandwiches 
Yeah, I don't know how I feel about building near the wasteland. I think I'm going to move out just a little bit, just a wee little bit, like across the road here. Uh, that cabin's not a bad place. I want to stay around the lake. I like being near water. Uh, looks like there's a cabin thing up there in the corner. I guess we can let the episode go just a little bit further, just to see what we find. Because I try to make these, you know, a good length, but not too, too long. Yeah, you see that? You know, we're not really that far from where we were. Actually, I'm curious. Where are we right now? Yeah, you see? Okay, so we spawned here. And we're basically making our way around the, around the lake at this point. We've been over this direction kind of before. You see, at this point, we're kind of heading out a little bit. But I did see a cabin over this direction. Yeah, there it is right there. I want to see what's over here, if there's anything good. I do see a zombie. Oh, so it's kind of like a little camp. Am I... I'm already hunted. Aha! Alright, I think we can take this real quick. Alright, let's check you real quick. Nothing. Alright. And... Let's go for this. Zombie mom moves a little faster than the rest of them. Okay, here comes a few more. Oh, shower's going. Alright, we're good. Nothing. Vitamins are pretty good to have. Oh, here comes another one. Come here, mister. Get scooned. And a bam. Draw back. Boom. Alright. Pour the oil. Alright, so it's not really a cabin. It's more of a... It's more of just a place. But I like this. I kind of like this area. I kind of like this area here. Now, what is this direction if I keep going? That's kind of the snowy area. Maybe not a bad place to be by right now. Yeah, you see there's wasteland right there. You see it's still not that far from us, but that's okay. I think this is a good place to build right here. Right next to the road, but not too far from the road. Um, rifles, hunting rifle stock. Yeah, I'm probably going to go through a lot of this, loot it up, and I'm going to build a little uh, temporary cabin slash hut. I'm undetected right now, but it looks like a zombie's kind of heading heading kind of toward me uh but anyway oh that's nice uh anyway guys i will see you guys next episode thank you guys so much for watching